A uh, very good evening from uh, the newsroom, the news uh, summary for this uh, Friday 29th uh, of December. The healthcare agency has confirmed that it lost uh, seven newborn babies in a period of 10 days. The agency was giving more details during a press conference following its announcement that it is investigating a recent outbreak of infections in the neonatal intensive care unit of the Seychelles Hospital. The chief executive officer of the agency, Dr. Danny Louange, says the investigation will try to establish the root cause of the situation. There is a comprehensive investigation being done by people who specialize in that field um, within health agency to establish the cause, like to go through the root cause of uh, the situation. Um, Overall, we've noticed that uh, we've lost uh, um, s seven uh, neonates within a very short uh, um, time frame. And uh, um, among the seven, five were premature babies. And as uh, we've uh, briefly looked at uh, the characteristics, most of the premature babies had uh, maternal or uh, baby factors that could have contributed to the cause of death. And uh, what we've done, immediately we've uh, started an, an, an investigation and also immediately we reinforced the infection prevention control measures that we've already established in uh, the unit. So we've reinforced, we've um, um, provided them with uh, adequate um, PPEs, personal prote um, protective equipment, so that they um, to support them, and uh, we've uh, also had several meetings um, as part of the investigation that we're going. So what we've also done as part of the investigation is uh, reswabbing all the surfaces, reswabbing all the equipment, um, and including. Um, IV fluids um, and other items that we feel um, is required for the investigation. But we also would like uh, to send our um, a message of condolen condolences to the families who have lost uh, uh, the newborns. And we are um, very concerned about what has happened. Our team is very concerned. We are working, um, doing our utmost best to make sure that this is controlled and also is not uh, repeated. The funeral uh, service of the later LDS uh, MNA, Rosie Bistoke, will take place at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception tomorrow morning, where her body will also lie for about uh, half an hour as of 8.30 am for people to pay their last respects. The official service itself will start at uh, 10 and last about two hours. Uh, several roads will remain uh, closed, some from very early in the morning. Mrs. Bistoke lost her life in a tragic incident at her home last week. Uh, she will be laid to rest in the Montfleury Cemetery. Several condolence books were also opened during the past uh, two days uh, and two will remain open at the cathedral tomorrow. The national flag at the National Assembly will fly at half-mast until after the funeral tomorrow. A sitting member of the Assembly is accorded an official funeral. And uh, the, this is why the Assembly has uh, taken charge of the uh, uh, ceremony for the funeral service. That is the proceedings uh, in church. Uh, the uh, other side of it, which is the uh, burial uh, in the cemetery, uh, this has been the responsibility of the family, and this is how we have shared the task. As far as the uh, funeral ceremony uh, is concerned, this will be in the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. Uh, the body will lie in the cathedral for the public to pay their uh, respects as from uh, 8.30 a.m. on uh, Saturday. And uh, we hope that uh, the public will uh, pay their respects and take their seat in uh, the cathedral at the same time, where they will be directed 
by uh, protocol officers. Um, uh, and uh, this is uh, why we appeal to the public to follow the directions of the protocol officers present to ensure that everything is uh, in order and goes well. We will miss her very much. She has been a very valuable member of the Assembly. She has always been uh, well prepared and uh, as uh, you know, uh, she comes with uh, an expertise in certain fields that has been very valuable to the uh, uh, subjects that are considered by the Assembly. Uh, she will be missed. Um, uh, I think she has given an, an example of uh, um, very serious and uh, valuable work by a parliamentarian, which uh, I am sure will be an example uh, that we can uh, uh, go forward with in the future. Distribution of food aid from the United Arab Emirates has already begun. Some of the items provided to the Red Cross for Cascade residents affected by the events of the 7th of December have already been distributed. Another consignment of uh, boxes of uh, food have been sent to the Beauvalon DA's office, the Belombre and Poglo community centres. In addition, a portion of the donated uh, items will be provided to the caterer, currently tasked with preparing breakfast, lunch and dinner for victims uh, in shelters. The Ministry of Finance, National Planning and Trade has announced the resignation of Siana Bistoke from her role as CEO of the Seychelles Trading Company, the STC. According to a press release from the Ministry, Mrs Bistoke has resigned citing health regions and the Minister and STC Board of Directors have accepted it. They thank Mrs Bistoke for her dedicated service over the past three years. In the interim, David Jean-Baptiste, the STC Deputy CEO, has been appointed as the Acting CEO, effective 1st of January 2024. Seventeen officers from the Seychelles Defence Forces were promoted to new ranks this morning. Ten were promoted from 2nd Lieutenant to Lieutenant, five promoted from Lieutenant to Captain, one from Captain to Major, and one from Major to Lieutenant Colonel. Two other soldiers were commissioned as officers, first after serving 25 years at the Air Force, commissioned as Major, and the other commissioned as Lieutenant after 18 years' service, mostly as a qualified nurse. Commercial shipping lines uh, going through the Red Sea have increased their fees because of the continuous threats from rebel group Houthi to attack commercial ships. As such, these new fees will have a direct impact on the price of commodities in the country. The chairperson of the Retailers Association, Vizian Shak, said that there will also be delays in the number of days taken by the cargo ships to enter the country. There will be an increase in the retail prices at the end of the day. And now I would like to ask um, the wholesalers, please let's be um, reasonable in uh, the increment of prices. Let's not take this as an advantage to capitalize on it and increase prices more than it should, because it's not only the, the, the food which is going to increase. Everything that we're going to import we're going to see uh, an increase in, in there. So let's do um, honest business. This uh, was uh, the news uh, summary. Have a very pleasant evening.